Hey everybody. I hope that maybe for perhaps just this one time, you'll let me wear my heart on my sleeve. I'd like to share something with you that's not necessarily homesteading related, but it's certainly home related. It's been three years now since I've been making YouTube videos. While the channel's been around for four, that's about as active as I've been is the last three years. But something much more important happened before I ever met you guys here on YouTube. It was four years ago today that my mother passed away. And while that's a fairly heavy topic, I want to share something with you. My mother was the worst mother ever. And if that takes you aback just a little bit, I want you to hear me. My mom was the worst mom ever. She made us go to bed on time. She made me do my homework. She made me brush my teeth. She made me get off the computer and actually go play. She made me think about things and all sorts of terrible, horrible things just the worst mother ever. Or at least that's how it feels when you're a kid. And me and my sisters have always jokingly and lovingly said that she was the worst mom ever. So today I want to remember her because she was also the woman who stood up for me at every possible turn because I was not the best child I was not the most obedient student. And while I'm sure I caused her more than one restless night, she never failed in standing up for me. And that means a lot. And I think that when we talk about homesteading, a lot of what we're talking about is home, the, the human aspect of homesteading. Sure, we want to grow gardens or raise our own meat or fix our own things rather than go out and buy new stuff and be part of the commercialism cycle of things. But really, I think the main component is our relationships. Maybe your relationship is simply with a spouse. Maybe it's with a partner. Maybe it's with your entire family. Maybe your relationship is just with your neighbor. Whatever it is, those relationships make or break our efforts. My relationship with my wife certainly makes or breaks my homestead. My relationship with her is outstanding. We support each other. We're each other's support to make sure and encourage each other to continue striving and working towards our goals and encouraging each other whenever something doesn't go quite as planned. And that was certainly the way my mother was. She was always there to make sure that I knew that the sun would shine again tomorrow and to try again. And then she'd make me brush my teeth and go to bed on time. Terrible. Well, I'm standing here today because if you've not seen a video before about it, this is my rose bush. My mother was an avid gardener, more so on the, um, landscaping side of things. Even though she loved vegetable gardening, uh, she really enjoyed beautiful things. And she worked for a long time at a Anheuser-Busch theme park working in their landscaping department. And the things my mother could do with flowers, the beautiful combinations that she could make, uh, were really astounding. And I don't know if my desire and my joy of gardening comes strictly from her, if it's DNA or what it might be. Uh, but certainly, I can't help but think about her when I'm out working in the garden. And the one thing I know my mother loved were her roses. Now, when I say she loved her roses, my mother never had any prized heirlooms from 60 years ago that she's been working on the entire time. But she knew what she liked, and she always had roses wherever I can think of her living. So this is my Chrysler Imperial Hybrid Tea Rose Bush that makes a beautiful red flower that is super fragrant 
and does really well in our area. So this is uh, the tribute that we have on the property growing just for my mom. So I want to say to all of you other mothers out there, I hope you're the worst mom ever for your children. And for everybody else, I hope that you have a relationship where you can support and help each other through even the toughest of times where somebody can sit there and say, you know what, you tell me the truth and you make me do the right things and I hate you for it. But God love you and I hope you're always here. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.